Now the first step is to run the game as an administrator. Now for this, you can make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files and go to the game installation folder. Here you can see the game exe file. Make a right click, properties, go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK and then you can launch the game. You can even try to launch the game from here and then check. If that does not work, run Steam or Epic Games Launcher as an administrator. So if you have the game on Steam, go to Steam, exit Steam and then when you relaunch Steam, make a right click and then click on run as administrator and then check. Still not working. If you have the game on Epic, like if you have the game on Epic Games Launcher, you can make a right click, exit Epic Games Launcher and when you relaunch, relaunch Epic Games Launcher as an administrator and then check. Now still not working. The next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program. If you're using Windows security, open Windows settings, go to privacy and security and click on Windows security, virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it, click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Click on add an allowed app, browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder, wherever the game is installed and then open the game folder, select the game exe file and then click on open. And now type in control panel in Windows search box, click on control panel, system and security, Windows Defender Firewall, click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall, change settings, allow another app, click on browse, and then again go to the game installation folder, open the game folder, select the game exe file, click on open, and then click on add. In my case, it is already added. Once added, now launch the game. Now, if you have any third party antivirus, like if you have a vast not on Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have. Allow the complete game folder to the exception list and the game exe file to the exception list. Allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now the next step is to make sure that you have saved games folder in this location. Now for this, you can open file explorer in here and then go to this PC, open C drive. Now open users folder. Now open your username folder. Now open over here. Make sure this saved games folder is there. It exists. If you don't have saved games over here, make a right click, create, uh, click on new and then select folder and you can name this as saved games. And then once you rename it, now you can launch the game. Once you have that folder, launch the game. In my case, I already have so that's why I'm receiving this error. I already have it. Now, still not working. The next step is to, still not working. You can add this to the, to this location. Now for this, first of all, you have to create saved games folder. Make a right click and then new folder and name it as saved games. And then once you name it, open saved games and you, create a folder named Frontier Development. So if you don't have this, like I'll show you, uh, if you don't have this, make a right click new folder and you can name it as Frontier Development. I already have it, so I will receive this error. So op now once you uh, make a Frontier Development, now open this folder. Now again, make a new folder and you name it as, as it is, like the way it is written with spaces and everything should be seen. New folder and you can name it as Jurassic World Evolution 3 and then you can make this folder and then you can relaunch the game. I already have it so I'm receiving this error. So now once you have this folder now relaunch the game and then you can check. Next step is to create a new admin local user account without any space or special character. So for this you can open Windows settings go to accounts and go to uh, other users over here and then click on add account now click on i don't have this person signing information and then click on add a user without a microsoft account you can create a new user account keep it simple like do not put any special character over here do not put any kind of space over here. Just keep it simple. Only the uh, letter and if you want to 
use alphabet you can use uh, so, sorry if you want to use numeric you can use numeric but do not put percentage like sign and all that do not put any special character if you want a password you can enter the password if you don't want leave it blank and then click on next this is just an example once you create it click on it change account type and set is as an administrator over here click on ok and then you can you have to restart your computer or log out your computer and then log into the new account so you can log or restart and then you have to log into the account which you have created and then you have to install the game and then relaunch the game and then check next step is to if you're using onedrive you can uh, if, like if onedrive is open sometimes the onedrive is hidden over here you can make a right click and then quit onedrive this is just an example i don't have it running close onedrive and then check if you want to use it make sure that you're logged in now the next step is to verify the game file now make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on the verify integrative game files once the verification is complete check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the saving issue. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time. And please like this video and subscribe to my channel.